Hey friends, welcome and welcome if you're new to the channel. Paul here doing an eyeglass repair specifically on these nose pads right here. Um, it can come in handy to get some extra nose pads, guys. Um, you can get these from your optometrist. I'm a zenny.com eyeglass shopper. Check these frameless glasses out. I've used these for years. Zenny is very cool um, for sending you hardware as requested. It's just really top-notch customer support with Zenny's. I'm not endorsed by them. I wish I were. I've actually given them, um, sent them emails and Twitters and stuff like that about, um, or think Twitter. I think they're on Twitter about their eyeglasses, kind of hoping I would get sponsored by them, but to this date, I have not. So anyway, in an eyeglass kit, guys, um, you take out your little Phillips head. That's the attachment here. It's also got a little flat head there. And actually, th these little tools, you know, for eyeglasses and replacing nose pads and stuff are actually really good for um, just to have around in your toolkit in general because you never know when you're going to need a a little tool for all kinds of fine projects but especially this stuff you can see how nasty that nose pads just blown out it's just blasted right out of the plastic so seat the new nose pad into the frame match up the holes and i'm noticing that on the pack of replacement screws zenny has provided two different types of washers um a flat washer and also a thicker, um, kind of like hex nut washer. But I'm going to use the flat one. You don't need to actually use these washers. I, I actually never have, but I see that they've included them in the pack here. So, and these, it really takes nimble, nimble fingers to do this stuff, guys. If you have poor eyesight or just not that dexterous, get a friend to help you or uh, somebody young. Somebody young who's got the dexterity. So yeah, I'm using that washer there. I guess that seems to work pretty good. Just make sure that the screw is coming out the back side there. You can see. And that's coming right the way through. The washer should probably add a little bit of extra security on that screw because they can work loose. So I think we're going to go with that. And then put the other one in. I'm actually wetting my finger here a little bit to pick up that washer. That's how difficult they are to pick up they're very very small all right so you get the washer threaded and then jam it in that hole and then give that a good screw in I'm using the flathead tighten it up good with the tool yeah you're good to go Look how nice those look, those fresh nose pads. Compare how clear those are next to the dirty ones and the cracked ones. So these are the other types of screws, or sorry, the other types of nuts, these hex nuts. You can see how chunky those are. I didn't need those. Just the flat ones will do. So yeah, thanks for checking in and hope that this tip helps you. Please post your comments below. It really helps my channel when you guys engage with even just a simple comment if it helps you or perhaps other content you'd like to see on the channel. These protective um, plastic pieces are also helpful to put on the ends of screws here and Zenny um, provides those in the pack as well. So just you just jam those onto the back of that screw. See that? And that protects 
the, um, if I think I can jam it on there. There we go. That protects that metal from jabbing in or scratching against you. So really good as new. You can also tighten up, see these um, nuts right there on those screws. You can also tighten those up if they get loose, but those are all pretty secure right now. Sometimes on these frameless glasses, those do become loose. And one downfall or weak point of these frameless jobs that I've had for years, I've had a couple of these sets, you know, like this one here, um, is that they will break out eventually. That's the weak part where it will break right through the glass. I've got some new glasses on order from Zenti, Zenni. Actually, I'm looking forward to them. They are a, a plastic horn rim type design, which looks really cool. I can't wait to get them. And they're gonna be a little bit more rugged too than these. These are really lightweight. They're very low profile. Um, and you've probably, you've seen me wear these a lot in my videos. But a negative of them is how kind of delicate they are. And they do break off eventually. My, my other pair lasted one year before this piece broke out. But it's something like 20 bucks a pair or something like that, you know, for the year. It still was a good investment. But just take care not to tweak or twist these glasses at all because by doing so that puts stress in that area where it, it will break out or it can break out so and then I've cleaned these up so they look pretty good um, if you guys are new to my channel thanks for dropping by those of you who've been around a while um, I appreciate your support um, you may have noticed that I have uploaded some older content recently in compilation form where I have consolidated several videos in some cases into one compilation video which presents a lot more information for the video um, and I've put some edits in those videos as well some updated edits um, along the course with those videos and why that is guys just to give you a heads up is um, I've had this channel since 2013 I guess so it's been six years and you know when I started my YouTube channel I was all about keeping things really short and just getting right to the point you know like most people like to see that or at least I like to see that like you know not so much of the talk and, and jibber jabber or just you know shooting the breeze on my YouTube channel but you know getting down to business because you know, I got other things to do. I got to move on. So that's how I've always looked and approached my channel. Just so you know, as you know, I get in and out of videos and I, I've always had a kind of thing to myself of keep it under three minutes. That was always kind of a, a goal of mine to keep my videos short. And I was kind of proud of that. Well, honestly, that's been really to my detriment because the YouTube algorithm and Google YouTube, Google slash YouTube, same company really, is um, they um, favor 10 minute and over videos or even longer. The, the formats are getting even longer on videos, if you notice. People are posting 20, 30, 40 minute, even one hour videos and they get bumped up favorably with the algorithm as long as the, you know, the content's relevant. YouTube is going to favor the 12 minute video over the two minute video. And it's just the way it is. You know, you've got to stay flexible and adaptable in, you know, whatever we do pretty much in life. And this YouTube thing is favoring the longer form content. There seem to be about maybe 30 or 40 of you out of however many subs I have. I think I have like 8,500 8, subs or something like that. When about, realistically, about 30 people seem to watch my channel um, with any regularity. Everybody else is um, a, a new viewer. So I'm going to try to change that too, hopefully by posting longer form videos and just kind of talking more about 
whatever. I don't know what other outlets there are for posting creative content projects online. You know, blogging's out. Blogging's been dead for years. Um, and so, really, this seems like the best game in town. Always looking forward to reading your thoughts below. And hope you put some fresh nose plugs on your glasses. Let me tell you, it's going to make you feel a lot better and a lot more squared away. And a lot cleaner and cooler. And everyone's going to notice. Let's face it. See you guys next time.